Hi. So, um, you know, we've got this wonderful Victorian walled garden. Um, and the buildings that we're using are the, you know, the, the historic buildings, so they're not fit for purpose really. They were built as storage sheds and we're now using them for our beneficiaries. Um, and so the first room we'll kind of enter really is, is our dining space. This is Sandra. Oh! <laughs> Fabulous. Um, this is, so this is where the lads have their... Um, you know, have their break time, their lunch time, somewhere dry for them to be. Um, but they also get to work here. So um, with the work rotor, you know, a couple of the guys will be working in the kitchen for the day. So they'll make, um, you know, coffees and teas at break time, make sure everybody gets lunch. What's the matter, Sandra? Is we it okay? making the drinks. Well, you're going to make some drinks. We're going to go and, we're going to go and talk about it, all right? Okay. <laughs> As you can see, we, you know, we have problems, um, you know, just with water coming through the ceiling. We've got to move the lighting in here so that, uh, so that the water doesn't short circuit our electricity as well. Um, come on through to the potting shed. This is our potting shed where um, our beneficiaries will, will work. They'll, they'll propagate plants in the spring. Um, then all the potting on is done in here, so the plants will come in, they'll get put into bigger pots so that they can grow on. Uh, in the winter time, we have to use this room to work when, you know, the weather's too cold outside. And so this is, this probably is our most useful space. Um, I had a builder round to look at the roof yesterday, and he said, actually, never mind about... Um, putting a new roof on, we ought to condemn the building. Because these rafters here are hardly held on at all. So we're holding up the roof. Can you see it's, it's come away from the wall altogether? So he wasn't keen on putting a new roof on at all. So this is our potting shed. The guys here are, they're cleaning, but they're also, you know, we're, we're trying to make it a little bit warmer. So they're, um, they're doing some painting and decorating as well. <laughs> Um, Louise and uh, and Andrew are making robins. So, as much as much as we can do for Christmas, um, make us some money as possible. This is our this is our little farm shop. Again, another little building that we're we're utilising. We raise the produce ourselves in the walled garden. We sell the produce um, to the public. We're open five days a week. We'd like to be open more than that, so we're looking at, at kind of weekend opening as well. But we also we also try to um, really champion local producers, and so we're you know we sell eggs and local apple juice, uh, local jam making. Anybody who produces food on a small scale in the area, we you know we try to sell for them as well. Um, so it raises awareness of, of them as well as we're, we're very involved in the local food uh, movement to try to, to try to get people to buy locally rather than um, you know the huge transport costs of, of bringing food from abroad. Of course, our, we've got very little space, and so um, corner of our shop is given over to to the lads' lockers, and so. You know, it's a, it's a kind of a dual pur purpose space. Space is a huge issue for us. Very little in terms of storage. Um, you know, very very little space for the lads to sit and you know have a um, have a relaxing time, if you like. But we make do and mend. We always have done. So if we go out into the garden, office space. Do we need office space? Yeah. Um, so we have two, we have two little office spaces. Ooh. Now we've got no staff in here at the moment because um, because they're on tea break. But three people share this office actually. Um, you can see that our IT systems are um, not the best. We we run on second-hand computers, um, donated no, photocopier. We no, um, we were broken into two weeks ago, and so we're looking at replacing doors and, and you know equipment that was stolen but 
but we soldier on. Um, the other office across is the office of, of our horticulturalist and also our local food worker. So when, when one is out in the garden, the other one can use the office space if you like. But um, there's a boiler room next door that we, a defunct boiler room, that we would really like to knock through and make the office space bigger. But that's, you know, that's a phased project for the future. Um, so out into the garden then. Let Ricky come in. <laughs> Hi, Ian. Hi. That's Sandra ringing the bell for tea break. Um, the, guy, the guys have a tea break in the morning and then again in the afternoon. So their their day is um, is in small parcels, if you like. They come in at half past nine, work for about an hour and a half, and then have a break, and then work for another hour lunch so lots of rest time you know which is which is absolutely necessary um, our beautiful victorian walled garden um, is is really the icing on the cake here this is what it's all about this is where we grow produce all year round um, to sell to the public it's the work that's the issue for our beneficiaries really this is therapeutic horticulture and it's Hi, Graham. <laughs> Hi, guys. And uh, horticulture has, has been proved scientifically to be one of the best um, therapies. You know, using using your hands to work the land is is amazing. So the garden's split up into different areas. We grow root crops. We we're, we're harvesting leeks and onions and um, beetroot still. Um, nice. We have the two polytunnels that currently have winter brassicas, so we're growing sprouts for Christmas and cabbages and that kind of thing. In the summer they might have soft fruit and, that, and whatever. So as you can imagine, we, um, you know, we're, we're constantly growing and harvesting and it, it's the fruit and the vegetables that are our mainstay really. We enjoy growing them and we enjoy selling them and we enjoy that it's, it's local produce that you know we're allowed to give to the public. This little area here is um, um, really pretty plants that we you know we're able to sell and so we you know we propagate. People might donate plants to us you know if they donate a, a large one we can make several you know by cut, taking cuttings or, t or we harvest a lot of seeds as well so our seed bank we um, we take at the end of the year and we sow ready for you know ready for the next year so everything is as free as possible as free as we can make it um, but these benches would be full of really pretty things through, throughout the summer time and of course you know you're catching us in winter it's nearly Christmas and so, um, you know, the pretty things aren't quite so, so here, if you like. Instead of that, we, we use you know, local donated wood. It's coming up to Christmas. It's an opportunity for us to make as much money as possible. And so our reindeer are one of the best things that we sell. And these two large ones, um, we're, we're going to, to try to raffle and make a little bit more money on. But I think we must have sold oh, in the region of two or three hundred small reindeer about this size that people absolutely love. And so, you know, it's an opportunity for us to raise a little bit more money towards Christmas. We also, um, we've got, uh, our staff are multi-talented and some of them are florists so you know they make holly wreaths and whatever they also provide workshops for local people so that you know they can learn to make their own holly wreath and and take it home again it's the workshops provide a little bit more funding for us um, in the you know in the winter time with january february and march are not good for us you know we've, we've got very little opportunity to to make any money to raise any funds and so the more we can do at Christmas to tide us over and those, you know, those three dry months is, is the best we can do. Um, we, one of the other big things that, that we're, our beneficiaries are able to do is to um, 
to use their woodwork skills. And we, we have a woodwork tutor on site. Now he, he runs courses um, funded by Warrington Borough Council actually to teach all of our beneficiaries basic um, woodwork skills and then they are able to make and manufacture things for us to sell in the shop, which is great. So this is, um, this is our woodwork department. We've got amazing staff and volunteers who come up with all these fantastic ideas to, um, you know, to make new things to sell, if you like. I, I can see now that we've got you know, I didn't know about this. There's a little truck with Walton Lee on it. Behind you, you've got a train um, that's got several little trucks to pull along. And that's, that's something that our guys have come up with. This is a, this is a cockle basket, um, which is a kind of an American version of, of our English truck so that it's you know, easy to, to pick things and, and put inside. So the guys are making those. They're making old-fashioned little boats that, when you put them in the water and wind up the, you know, the rubber, they um, they float. A little. They love to do these things, and they feel. Can you imagine the pride? You know, when, when you, when you're not expected to do very much, and you take home something that you have made from scratch. You know, um, Simon, our woodwork you to make sure that you know all of our beneficiaries can cut the wood can sand the wood can can put it together and they often work on a one-to-one -one basis with volunteers or or uh, you know our workers to um to make sure that they you know they themselves have produced that item from scratch and they are so proud i can't tell you um, so lots and lots of good work goes on in here. Woodwork is probably secondary to, to what we do in the garden. If you like. It's the next uh, most important thing. We're lucky enough to, um, to get donated bits of wood from, you know, there might be joinery um, workshops that, that give us off, off cuts or um, whatever, but we're, and we're all, always grateful for those don donations. And then, you know, we can just keep on manufacturing these things with the guys. Okay. So this is the lovely Walton Lee project van <clears throat> that they can bring round to the office with all the produce that they grow and sell here. Um, it's pretty much like a farmer's market coming to us at the office. It's bigger and better quality than anything we can get from the supermarket and it's a hell of a lot cheaper. So it'd be really great if, uh, when they do turn up, if we can all buy something from them on a regular basis and really help support their efforts here.